So let's open the doors of just one of the many organisations where a worker or volunteer may need a DBS check and look at what's needed to make the process as quick and smooth as possible. If you apply to work or volunteer here, the organisation will determine if a DBS check is needed. If it is, they'll decide which type of check you need. You can't apply for a standard enhanced or enhanced with barred list check yourself. There are approved organisations registered with DPS to submit these types of check. These are known as registered bodies. If the employer or organisation that has requested your check is a registered body, they'll submit your application to us once it's complete. If not, they will use another organisation who is registered, known as an umbrella body. You'll be asked to apply online or be given an application form to complete. It's really important that you check everything over on the application form. Make sure everything's complete and accurate. If it's not, your application could be delayed, returned to the registered body or withdrawn. You'll also need to provide some ID documents to verify your identity. This is done by the verified ID checker and will be arranged by the employer or registered body. You can share your ID documents face to face or send them to the ID checker for validation and join a video chat to verify them. The ID checker will compare the details on your application to those on your ID documents. Once your identity has been verified, the registered body will then complete the sections of the application that they're responsible for. They will check your information is complete and then a nominated individual will countersign the application. When the application is complete, it will be sent digitally to DBS or posted. We'll take it from here.